by Lucius. Looking like an absolute moldy toe-ish. All right, the day has officially come. I'm being driven to the airport right now to depart North America. Any final words for the vlog? Oh, man. Oh, it's getting too long-winded. <laughs> Mom, any last words for the vlog? I've got my sunglasses on. Because she will be bawling. Say no more. I am departing for Argentina in approximately an hour and a half. Uh, fingers crossed I make my flight. So here goes something. Hold me close till I get out. Just landed in Charlotte. Next stop, Miami, Florida. So I decided to come up with my last night in the U.S. About to embark on part three of the travels today. This one is the big mama. We're talking a nine hour flight to Argentina. I think I'm ready. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. So, long time no chat. The last clip I took, I was at the airport, and little did I know I would almost miss my flight. Today's my first official day living here, and let me tell you, yesterday was rough. I guess I just got super overwhelmed, and it all kind of sunk in that, oh, I'm going to be living in South America for almost four months. I'm trying to adjust the best of my ability. So enough of me chatting, because that's not cute. I decided I should give a little tour of my humble abode because there doesn't need to be any more explanation, I'll just do it. This is the outside of my room and she's very cozy. So this is where I sleep. I've got a window and there's my shelf, my closet, and then my desk. My bed is very comfortable. Sleeve, but no one cares about my rock cycle. So this is my bathroom. She's snug, but she does the job. I would like to mention that I'm living with a host family. I don't have this whole place to myself. And then we've got la cocina. Then we have the living room, which I love. And then here is where I do my homework. And another exchange student was staying there, but she left from Austria. So this is the balcony. literally right in the city which is very convenient because it's my school's close maybe you can get a better view tried to take an Uber to uh, the neighborhood and the first one we took, I got in and the driver's name was David. I'm like, no, it wasn't David. It was David. And I was like, David, you see David. And then we go about a mile and then he asks us for where we're going and then he realizes we weren't the people that he was supposed to pick up. So then we leave. And he kicks you out. Yep. No, 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 I was we, like, let's go. We got. We go. didn't know it's so like go in a cab. And then we finally get to the restaurant, and then right after we get there, the cab just like crashes into something on the side of the road, and his bumper falls off. And then after we leave, after we leave the bar, we get another Uber. Oh yeah, his car stops working after we drop off. So long story short, we're walking everywhere. Yeah, we're taking cabs. That's the first time I tried to whip up my camera and vlog myself, and I was seconds away from getting nailed by a car. So that's how my luck is going today. I decided to end this video. This is the lobby of the apartment I'm staying in, and it's got this giant mirror, which makes for some great selfies. But this wraps up the initial moving in flight process. So, if you're interested in what's next, stay tuned. Until next time, bye.